Hey everybody, it's Tomo42. So I had a request to show a little bit more detail on how the water actually gets back in this aquaponics system, this is the basic system, to um, back to the fish tank. So just a quick recap. Down here we've got uh, fish. Uh, you can see them swimming around in there. Just some goldfish because it's a small uh, tank, obviously, just five gallons. There's a pump right there comes up, it's on a timer, so every 15, 15 minutes out of every hour, water comes up, and then into the buckets. Now, the, both buckets are plumbed up the same way, so uh, just review one should be fine. So, water comes out here. Um, right here, if you can see down in there, there's actually a pipe within a pipe. This outer pipe, as you can see, has holes drilled in it, and this just serves as a screen to keep the gravel from being on top of the inner pipe. The inner pipe, way down there, uh, it sticks through the bucket and up towards the surface of the gravel. Now, it's situated about an inch below the level of the gravel. And the reason for that is when the water fills uh, the bucket up, what I want is for the top of the gravel to not be flooded. I want to have a little bit of dry space. So as the water gets to that high level, it go, the water will go flow through the screen and over onto the top of that pipe, which will then prevent, well, it sets a maximum level. And as you can see a little bit of light down at the bottom there, that's because on this particular grow bed, the pipe just extends directly down. So this pipe is the same one, it's a half inch PVC in this case, and it just extends through. And if you can see, there's a uniseal, and along with some cracks in the plastic, um, to attempt to provide a watertight seal. Now because the, the bucket actually cracked, it's not as watertight as it used to be. However, so that sets the maximum level, is the height of that standpipe. At the, at the base of this pipe, inside the bucket, there are two drill holes, which will allow it to slowly drain out at the bottom. So what happens is, at the beginning of the hour, the pump is on, and it pumps much, much faster than it drains out. So it'll fill to the top, and then overflow into the top of the standpipe. It'll keep going that way for 15 minutes, because it only, because it's so small, the pump is so large in comparison, it only takes about I don't know, 30 seconds or so to fill the bucket. So that'll pump, that'll continue for 15 minutes, and then when the pump turns off, it's at that maximum level, and it'll just slowly, slowly drain out through the bottom, through the two little drill holes in the, in the base of the sand pipe. And that's about it. It'll do that, it'll dry out a little bit, and then come the next hour, there'll be another 15 minute cycle. So the way I have this set is 15 minutes on, 45 off, Different people have different um, settings for that. Uh, some just will turn it over as frequently as possible. They'll flood it, and as soon as it's flooded, it'll um, they'll turn it off, and they'll have it timed exactly. Other people flood more, uh, less frequently, and it depends a lot on what your plumbing is and on um, what it is you're growing. Some plants prefer more moisture. Some plants prefer less. So mint loves a lot of moisture. Um, things like onions and garlic, they could do with a little less. Any kind of root crop could probably do with less. Um, so yeah, you can just play around with the timing. But the, the plumbing is pretty basic. Uh, there is another alternative. You go with a siphon, where uh, there's two basic varieties. But uh, a siphon, basically, you'd have a loop uh, coming out the bottom that would come up and then down. and once the, um, once the maximum level of that loop is reached, it'll then drain the bucket. And using that system, you can have the pump on continuously. And there's advantages and disadvantages. Um, basically with siphons, you can get away with a much smaller pump, which might be a significant cost savings, because you're constantly having it fill and drain, fill and drain, fill and drain. The disadvantage is that, um, well, it's a very frequent flooding and draining, which for some plants isn't so great. Additionally, the siphons can fail. Using a standpipe system, these 
the only type, the only way these can these can fail is if every, something gets plugged up, which is uh, pretty unlikely. I've got worms in the beds here to keep um, the root matter under control, and I think that's about it for now. Hope that answers your question.